Welcome to Beginner's Guide to SOLIDWORKS 2020 Design Tables lesson. With the following sketch, click in the Hide Show command and make the dimension names visible. Select each sketch dimension and rename it in the dimensions properties as indicated. Make a Revolve Boss to finish. Right-click in the Annotations folder and activate the Show Feature Dimensions option. Arrange the model dimensions if needed. In the right face, add a new sketch, draw a hexagon, and dimension as indicated. Make an extruded cut. Set the depth and click OK. Select the hexagonal cut dimensions and rename them. Add a chamfer to the selected model edges as indicated. Arrange the dimensions in the screen if needed. Select the menu Insert Tables Design Table. Accept the default settings and click OK. In the Dimensions dialog, select the dimensions to be added to the Design table and click OK. Resize the Excel window if needed and scroll to the Configure dimensions. Fill the Excel table with the values indicated. Change the cell's format to show the values as fractional numbers.
Click in the graphics area to exit Excel and click OK to acknowledge the newly created configurations. Select the configuration manager and change between the different configurations to see their differences. Right click on the default configuration and delete it. Expand the Tables folder, right click in the Design table and select Edit Table. Cancel the Add Rows and Columns dialog to continue. Select the next available column. and double click in the chamfer in the feature manager. Format and fill the chamfer column as indicated. Copy the last row, paste it at the bottom and modify it as shown. Change the design table format as indicated. Click in the graphics area to exit Excel and click OK to acknowledge the newly created configuration. Activate the new configuration to review the differences. In the Feature Manager, right-click in the Annotations folder and hide the feature dimensions. From the Reference Geometry command, select Mate Reference. At the indicated edge, type a name and click OK to finish. Save the part as a screw design table. Expand the Design Library tab, select the folder Parts, Hardware, and click on Add to Library. Select the screw and click OK. Verify in the Design Library the screw has been added. Close the screw part to continue and go back to the assembly with toolbox hardware. In the feature manager, select the side cover screws and suppress them. Click and drag the new screw from the design library onto a hole in the side cover. Select the quarter 20 by 0.5 inches and click OK to finish.